All right, you gotta stand up straight. Stand up straight. <laughs> You're on camera, you have to stand up straight. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the Daddy Lucy Show. And also, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lucy's, Lucy's a unicorn today. Today, we're gonna be finishing up our Woodworking 101 course with Lucy. And today is our last step. We're gonna be showing you guys how to properly finish up a tabletop. Now, there's no correct way to finish up a tabletop, but there are a lot of wrong ways to do it. So I'm gonna show you my favorite method. And the reason this is my favorite method is because it really is the easiest. There's no complicated mixing involved. There's just three main products that you're gonna to have to buy to finish this properly. Okay, so do you know what the first step is? No. Uh, all right, there you go. There's your sanding stuff. Go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna go inside and watch TV. Y'all be back in an hour, okay? Okay, we're an hour? Yeah, you gotta sand for an hour. I don't know how to sand. So first step is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sand down this ugly surface. This actually came off of an old table. This is just a little bit of a cutoff of that table. This has been rained on and it looks like somebody tried to refinish it and did a horrible job. So we have to sand off all of this and then we can go start sanding through the grits to make this a nice, nice clean tabletop. Now, I'm gonna be using the belt sander, but you could easily do this by hand. It would just take a lot longer. But because I have a belt sander, I'm going to use it. Okay, first things first, I went ahead and cut this a little bit smaller just so it would be a little easier for us to sand it. It's not the final dimension yet, but it's just more manageable. So Lucy, do you know what this is? This is a palm sander. It is a random orbit sander, more specifically. So your job is gonna be to sand all of the surfaces with this. You have this button, okay? The line is on, the circle is off, okay? Just like a switch. Yeah, we need to be real shots. Once again, I have forgotten my, uh, I have no idea where my paint can opener is, so we're back to a screwdriver. Any other ones? Yes. Okay, so basically what we did is we took the belt sander at 80 grit and we got everything nice and cleaned up. And then we did a 120 with the Orbit. We did a 220 with the Orbit. And then we went to a 320 by hand. So that was fun. I never, I never used one of these, um, what are these called? Sanding blocks. I never used one of these sanding blocks before. I've always just made my own. This thing is, this thing's really nice. I like this. If I can find one, I'll put a link to this one in the description. I highly recommend getting these little sanding blocks. That thing was really nice. Even though I never tried them before. Yeah, I've never actually used one either. I've always just made my own. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting a pre-stain uh, conditioner on here. And the reason we're doing that. Hey, my, my makeup thing. <laughs> it's not a makeup thing. <laughs> It's my wood conditioner brush. 
Uh, the reason you put a wood conditioner on here is it's going to make your stain look nicer. Basically what it does is it fills all of the pores of the wood and sort of evens everything out so it accepts the stain evenly. If you've ever tried to use a stain on your own, there's a good chance that it ended up just not looking very impressive. impressive. Yes, it's just not very impressive. That's a good way to put it. So we're gonna be using a pre-stain conditioner. Now the trick to this, if you wanna do this in one step, is we're gonna go ahead and put this on here hey, upside down. I make a brush? I'll let you use the top side. How dare you. So if you put all of this on the edges and the bottom first, then you can flip it over if you have something like these. That way you can kind of do everything in one step because the bottom doesn't matter as much. We're just making it look like the top just so it looks normal, but the bottom really doesn't matter too much. So always put your first coat on the bottom. And the trick here is just to make sure it soaks in to all of the wood. <laughs> you pressed too. Yeah, now I have a beard. You have a beard now? <laughs> okay. And then we can flip this upside down. And now it's Lucy's turn. Yay, upside! Okay, so you want to go with your grain here, okay? There you go. Long, long strokes, okay? There you go. Back and forth. We'll come back in about an hour. How's that sound? What is that face? What is this? What are you doing? <laughs> Just say okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Open this for me. So now that we got the pre-stain conditioner out of the way, we are going to go ahead. I forgot the paintbrush. Oh. Um, now that we got the pre-stain conditioner out of the way, we're going to go ahead and use the wood stain. What? We're going to go ahead and. Blah, blah, blah. I forgot which side the bottom was. <laughs> they both look good, so I don't even know. Which side do you like? This is the bottom? I like. Yeah, this is the side and the bottom. You like this one at the bottom? Yeah, okay. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you how we do this. We take this and we that paint it. looks disgusting. I know, but it turns out, <laughs> it turns this color, this uh, nice golden oak color. This right. is the same color as we, it's the same color as your uh, base. Good. And so I, we, we, what we wanna do is we wanna brush it on just like before with the grain, but you don't want to squeegee off the end, okay? You want to just kind of push it up right to the end, like that, okay? So go ahead and paint on your side. Okay, now we need to wait about five minutes or so, and then we can go ahead and brush all of this off with some paper towels. And then we have to wait for the stain to set. Sound good? Okay, so let's wait five or ten minutes or something. This the glove is my skin and my hand is the bones. Cool. Put your gloves on. No. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we take a pepper towel and we're just gonna wipe off all the excess now. Okay? Okay. And you throw this in the trash. That is not That was the trash! trash. They don't know the That's difference. It's, I threw it in the trash can. No, he did not. <laughs> it goes in the trash can. No, it You definitely wasn't. don't want to throw it on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it was on the floor, Gadu. <laughs> there you go. And you just go ahead and wipe off all the excess on top. <laughs> all right, it looks pretty good. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, go ahead and throw this in the trash. Where are you going? Welcome back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let this sit here and dry for a couple of hours, and then we're gonna come back and do the uh, finishing layer. What do you call that? I guess these are all the finishing layers. We're gonna start the polyurethane layer here in about two hours. Sound good? These are supposed to go in the trash. Meet you in two hours. Okay, so now it's been about, what did we do, two hours? Two. Two hours, and then we're gonna go ahead and put on Three coats of polyurethane. Now the number of coats of polyurethane that you choose is completely up to you. You could do just one. Three is basically, I would say, is a average amount. Uh, you could do as high as 10 if you wanted to. It's just about how durable you want this top layer. We're just gonna do three because that makes it nice and easy. 
So we're gonna go ahead. It's so clear. Yep. So the goal here is just to make it wet. It's not to put on a thick layer. You're just gonna, whoops. You don't wanna crush your grain after you put on a stain because there's a good chance you might actually re-wet all of your stain. You're gonna end up with lines going across your grain. You don't wanna do that. Uh, I feel like I've never talked before. Oh, well I think you have. Talked a lot. No, I haven't. Like pretty much constantly, yeah. Hey, it's my turn okay, now. Okay, fine, here you go. Don't you dare. All right, do it, do it then. There we go. And now we're gonna let this sit for, I think the, the can said three hours. Hours? Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a long process. We're probably actually gonna get this done tomorrow. What? Well, the finishing takes a long time. Okay, goodbye, I'm out. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. All right, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple of days and all of our surface is completely dry. And so go ahead and put your hand on here. You can feel all the little bumps on the surface. Mm -hmm. All of those little bumps, we need to sand them off now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 325 sandpaper and we're just gonna start sanding, okay? So we go like this. All right, so you're gonna see two things. You see how everything is turning white here? You can also feel how soft it is, right? How it feels really smooth. So smooth. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start sanding off. Hold this. Don't take my heads baby. Heads up. Send heads up. Okay, my so baby. I have these so that we don't ever oh. scratch fresh surfaces. You took my so, put this. Okay, so the way this goes is you put this on here. Yeah. Yay, like we this. built a table. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do this step, okay? Okay. So that we can get this done. Go ahead and... All right, go ahead and put the screw in there. And you're gonna hold it in. See where I'm pushing? Go ahead and pull it once, just quickly. One pull and then stop. There you go, do it again. Do it again. There you go, keep going. There you go. That's perfect. One more. There you go. You see it pull in like that? Perfect. Mm. <laughs> Yay, our table's filled. Yep, there's a table. There you go, what do you think? It's awesome. Is it? There's still a little bit of sawdust on it, so uh, why don't you go ahead and do the outro while I wash the table? Okay, so that was me and Daddy making a tabletop. I don't really know what to say next. <laughs> I never know what to say next either. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Do you want to see a cool B-roll shot? If you say no, we force you to. I'm just going to force them to watch the B-roll <laughs> shot. You know what B-roll shot I want? What? I want to see you and Ellie using your new table. And, Ooh, and the chairs. The chairs I made. There we go. There. Yay. Now you have a table and chairs. Maybe we should have made it a little bit bigger. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's have a tea party. Here you go. Yay. There's your tea. Go, go, go. Stop drinking the tea. <laughs> that tea will kill you. And this is my tea. Mm-hmm. Very small chairs. Trust me.